Tiny cars are disliked by Americans. For some, it might not be safe. For some, driving them will make them look foolish. Some claim they're poor deals because they offer far less than a typical car while not really saving you a lot of money. These issues and more can affect the micro micro lino micro car. But I ended myself overlooking most of them since it's so adorable, entertaining, and unusual. It is not a smart purchase due to its noisy motor, bouncy ride, difficult access, and exorbitant price. Its maker, though, seems to have managed to give it a certain something that larger, more costly cars frequently lack, and it offers such a distinctive driving experience that it will undoubtedly win you over. Prior to operating the Microlino, my primary worry was safety. It's a small item without crumple zones or airbags, so the chances of a high-speed collision with another car appear slim. Its creators, however, take great pride in providing the Microlino with an automotive-grade safety cell, composed of steel and housed in an aluminum body. That is a long cry from the typical vehicle of this type, which has a cheap plastic body covering a thin tube steel structure. I drove a Microlino for several days last week in my home city of Bucharest, Romania, which is a large and crowded metropolis. Bucharest's frequently haughty and violent drivers are reminiscent of New York in many ways. It's hardly the best location for a little weak bubble car. Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you.